course in the world at this point. It's the 78th running of the Santa Anita Handicap. Trevor Denman with the call. Away they go and shared belief broke beautifully. Along the inside, Diamond Bachelor sets off for the lead. Up alongside now comes Senor Kiskiano, who now goes on to lead them. Marino joins them in the center of the track. Catcher flights on the grandstand side. Shared Belief is tucked in beautifully right behind the leaders in the black cap. Bronzo's on the outside. Crimson Giant is close today, only three lengths off them. Then Cool Samurai, and behind that, Dynamic Sky. Hard Aces at the back of the leading group has only given them five lengths start. They bunched up here. Patriotic and Proud has dropped back to be third last. In behind that, you know, I know, and Imperative is last, 11 off the lead. So they set off to the three-quarter pole in the big cap. Marino on the far side and Senor Kiskiano along the inside. They're just setting a steady pace, not flying. Behind that, catcher flight. Crimson Giant is right there in the firing line. Diamond Bachelor at the rail. Now, here's Shared Belief in the sixth spot. Black Cap of Shared Belief. Only three lengths off the leaders and just loping along. In behind that comes Cool Samurai. In behind Cool Samurai now we have Bronzo's drop five off the leaders patriotic and proud you know i know dynamic sky and imperative as last into the turn they go and marino's now sent along let's see shared belief now starts to get closer in the black cap he's moved up fourth and coming after them marino is hard ridden senor kis kakino along the inside shared belief has taken the second spot and let's see mike smith just sitting on him and shared belief now comes on to take on marino marino's running his heart out but shared belief strikes the front in the big cap on the inside catch a flight tries to make a race of it an eighth of a mile to go and shared belief mike smith never even thought about going to the stick they cantering home this is absolute poetry in motion he is cocked he could go around again could shared belief they've won it so easily to marino catch a flight behind that came bronzo then we have hard aces and dynamic sky Shared belief, bam, in an wow. obscene display of equine dominance, he absolutely lopes across the finish line in the Santa Anita handicap. The horses behind him were running their eyeballs out, and they weren't even close. I'll tell you what, I got to give credit to Santiago Gonzalez on the six, because you're right, Simon, this is the only way you could beat a type of horse like this, and he took a shot with Moreno, who absolutely ran his eyeballs out, but it just shows you the devastating ease when Mike touched the button with shared belief. The Moreno's not taking the turns. The race is over right now. It's just a matter of how far. But you got to give credit to Moreno for hanging in there for yeah, a second. Yeah, Santiago Gonzalez pulled the trigger leaving the 3 8 pole. And that's the way you try to beat shared belief around the turns, as I was explaining prior to the race. He looked phenomenal around the turns today. And I think that's just indicative of the competition he's facing. He just blew by him, I mean, with each and every stride. Easy win. Justifies his 1-5. to five. Should have been 1-9 to nine odds. And in the words of Jim Rome, rack him. Yeah, right out of the gate. Mike immediately, he sort of rode him a little bit like California yep. Rome and Victor Espinoza. Tried to get him to the outside, wasn't worried about being four or five wide. When you have a horse like that, wow. It must be easy, it must be nice, but still, 10 for 11. What a job by Jerry Hollendorfer and his crew. Hallmark of a great horse, they make good horses look cheap. Share Belief made a grade one winner look cheap behind him. Moreno at nine to one. This is a winner of a grade one against older horses. He almost won the Travers as a three-year-old. He is as long on talent as anybody, but he had nothing. They literally couldn't warm him up today. You know, the, the time two minutes and three could have run, run sub two minutes. And, you know, we're in the time now that we don't see a lot of horses running sub two minutes for a mile and a quarter anymore, Simon. No, we certainly don't. There's Jim Rome with his wife, Janet, coming down to the winner's circle to the right of the screen. Alex Salif, Keith Brackpool who's uh, heads up Santa Anita here, of course. And uh, not to be lost in all this, we all owe Janet a debt of gratitude because it was his lovely wife that got him interested yeah. in horse racing in the first place. He was a longtime critic of this sport, and like he said, if he can come to the dark side, then anyone can. And not only has he come to horse racing, he's come with two Breeders' Cup wins with Ms. Direction, and then the next year he picks up a share of shared belief, and shared belief loping back to the winner's circle in those very familiar silks now of Jungle Racing. She's done a lot of great work for retired uh, thoroughbreds as well Jim's wife so she yeah she got him involved in misdirection two Breeders Cup wins now to this horse I mean look he's been in the sport what seven or eight years there's people been in the sport 
50 years that haven't had the success he's had. It didn't start off that well in, by, by his own admission, but it's really turned around. This is the only horse he has in training. I mean, everyone thinks he's got a ton of horses in training. This is the only horse he has. The in only training. one you need. It's yeah. the only one you need. <laughs> exactly. Mike I'll Jackson. take one horse, please. <laughs> yes. Well, shared belief is now... Let's do, the, uh, let's do the numbers. He's 10 for 11. He just put those career earnings close to over $2.9 million. He picks up a $600,000 winner's check today. So he's knocking on the door now for $3 million. Now your question is now, hmm? think about the horses that Mike Smith has ridden. Yes. I mean, that's my question now. I, you know, Mike's a good friend of mine. I'd like to give him a call, and I don't know where he ranks his horse. You know, you know he was on Cigar. Actually, he took off Cigar. Um, he's been on, on like Bridal that Song. One. He's been on Skip Away. He's been on a lot of great horses. And I'll tell you what, he's always... Very, very gamership. Good let everybody see the champion. And I'll tell you, this is uh, a special horse. It certainly is. Look, Mike, Mike's not one to speak hyperbole and exaggerate. He's not a guy that's going to get off a great one winner. And it's always, oh, it's the best horse yeah. I've ridden, the best horse I've ridden. He's few and far between his words. But he has gone on record as saying this might be one of the best horses he's ever sat on. And those are strong words for a guy that's usually understated and respects some of the horses that he's ridden in the past. Yeah, he rode Zenyatta, too. He rode Zenyatta. He's the winningest rider in the history of the Breeders' Cup. Yeah. He has been on some of the all-time greats. And for him to put that horse in that company, you know exactly how good he is. Of course, now we think he's that good because we're seeing shared belief on the track. But he has the perspective. He's a Hall of Fame rider. He's been doing this a long time. He's won over 5,000 races in his career. So his perspective better than anyone's from high atop the withers of these great horses he's ridden. And let's talk about the entire team here. You see Alex Solis there in the background. Jerry Hollendorfer. I don't think people realize what a great job he has done with this horse. There have been foot problems. He doesn't hit the ground quite right. He's turned out a little bit. This is not the easiest horse to manage or no, train. No. And there are trainers that could not have gotten shared belief this far. The talent that's shared belief. That's all on the horse. But the managing of his career, the training, the getting him to the races in order, the, the undefeated streak, that's Jerry Hollander. Look, I've seen it firsthand. And, and the public, I think, and we're guilty of it. You know, you sit here and you sit up here and watch these horses run. You don't know what goes on behind the scenes to get him to the track. When I worked with Bill Mott with Cigar, that horse had a quarter crack for two years straight and, and had to be managed day in and day out. Nobody knew. The same thing applies here with Shed Belief. He's got a myriad of foot problems. Jerry Hollendorfer is the first to credit his wife, Janet, who likes to stay in the background, behind the scenes, up at Golden Gate. She's the one, basically, that takes care of this mm -hmm. horse on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis. And I tell you what, managing these foot problems, everyone thinks, oh, good horse, you just get him right and you wheel him over there. They have no idea the work that goes in behind the scenes. You're 100% right. And the thing is, is this horse is never worked over a dirt racetrack. He's always been at Golden Gate over the Tapatel no, there. Actually, they, they switched him up to Golden they Gate. They switched him back over to Golden Gate. Yeah. He worked early in his career. I'm sorry, early in his career. But then to ship him back up, take the van ride, handle him carefully, you've got to give credit to the people at Golden Gate. His assistant, Dan Ward, as well, does a phenomenal job. I mean, they, you're right. They kept this horse down. And Jerry was on the record before this a couple weeks ago to say, listen, I'm keeping this horse in California. If you want to come beat me, I'm going to keep him here. And if he's healthy, you'll see him in the Breeders' Cup at Keeneland. But you're going to have to come here to beat him. And I don't think, and I don't see anyone here shipping in here to try to beat yeah, him. Why would you ship halfway across the country to take him on? And the options are a few and far better. I mean, he's got the Gold Cup here in July and the TVG Pacific Classic will be the, the next starts. Um, me, personally, I would have loved to have seen him run in Dubai. That's not their MO. That's not their plan. And with those foot problems, I understand and respect the decision that the camp makes. This horse is getting used to the smell of flowers on his yeah. back, isn't he? It's about every time he makes his way to the racetrack, he comes into a winner's circle where there's hardware being given away, and he's adorned with a traditional flower blanket. Here are the prices if you're concerned about such things in a race as this. The final time was two minutes and three-fifths. He could have gone much faster had he wanted. Shared belief. One to five. Looks like a bargain now. Moreno and Catch a Flight would round out the top three. How about the pick four landing in the Sandy to Handicap? $800. Can you